Yesterday was a weird day because I came to the realization that everything I've been doing as a VTuber was not only wrong, but a flat out lie. And I came to the sudden realization when I was, uh, <laughs> well, I was playing a game called Suika. Have you heard of this game before? See, you take this fruit and then you combine it with another fruit to get an even bigger fruit. And then you keep doing this until you get a big watermelon. It's a really fun and low-key addicting kind of game, but that's because the rules of the game are just so easy to understand. Like, all you gotta do is just keep doing this one thing until you get a watermelon, and then BOOM! You win! It seems easy, right? Well, that's what I always thought VTubing was like. Not making watermelons per se, but that VTubing is just so easy because all you gotta do is act like an anime girl, maybe say ara ara a few times, and just stream the most popular game consistently. It doesn't have to be the same game per se, just make sure you're keeping up with the trends. Just do all of that and then you'll grow, right? Well, what if you don't grow? Oh, well, you just gotta debut new models, post memes every day, commission some really cool art, just do this and that, and then you just- Well, I fucked up. Should I try again or take a break from playing? And that's kind of the problem with content creation. You're told this lie that if you just keep throwing shit at a wall, then eventually something will stick. But what happens when everything you throw just doesn't stick? VTubing helps you stand out a little bit in the content creation sphere, but it's not going to save you from having to do the thing that's gonna actually help make you grow, which is being a content creator. I remember at some point in my VTubing career, I had to take a step back and just look at my entire channel and like seeing this concoction of a mess that I made ended up being one of the biggest driving factors to make me want to go through a whole rebrand because for a while now, I've been feeling overwhelmed trying to juggle all these different pieces of VTubing because as much as I would like to imagine all these wonderful outcomes to happen to me, the reality is that becoming a successful VTuber is getting more difficult with each day that passes by and me sitting here trying to make certain ideas grow and me becoming this whatever concept of a VTuber I think I am will never happen if I don't make the correct decisions and I know this. So what are the correct decisions? You can't just sit there hovering over your fruit in Suica. You do get shown the next piece of fruit ahead of the one you're about to play, but you literally have zero idea what the remaining fruit of the game is going to be. And therefore you have to really think carefully about where you're going to place everything or else you'll end up wasting your fruit, it won't combine or get bigger and become a watermelon, and then you get a game over and have to start all over again. And that can be a lot for people. Sometimes you think you get into VTubing and you think it's like one thing and you keep trying and trying because you see everyone else around you getting their watermelons, but everything that you do, you're just not able to create anything. You're just getting stuck and you're lost and confused. And hello, this is me. And after so many just game overs and failed attempts and failed projects, you just have to sit there and ask yourself like, when's enough enough? This game can be a different metaphor for many, many different things. Maybe for you, it's getting ready for summer vacation, or it's landing that summer job or internship, or maybe you're just really excited to eat some dang watermelon. Because seriously, this game is very difficult to try to get a watermelon in this game. Why is it so difficult? But for me specifically, it's being a VTuber. Even more specifically, it's my YouTube channel. I have all these different ideas and projects I want to work on, and I keep hoping that if I work a little bit on all of them at once, that eventually it's going to explode, I'll become this successful YouTuber, and everyone's gonna love me and give me all their money, but the problem with that is time. I don't have all this time to be sitting here doing all these different things to become a successful VTuber because time is kind of weird for a VTuber. If it's only been four years since it's blown up in the West and it feels like an eternity, I've seen so many graduations, so many people come and go, people, new people, even every day exploding with growth. And for the longest time, I just didn't even know what success for me even looked like because there are so many different paths you can take as a VTuber. And for the longest time, I was just aimlessly throwing stuff at a wall, hoping something would stick without really thinking that this is what I actually want to do as a virtual content creator until today, I had an idea. I asked myself, why did I originally become a VTuber in the first place? And the answer to that was very simple. I love being an anime girl. It's so fun. It is literally, it's probably the most 
funnest time I've had in like content creation and just in general. And the thing that I love doing the most as a VTuber is creating this space that helps bridge this gap of this obscure realm of VTubing to both aspiring or VTuber fans alike. And then I had to ask myself, okay, well, what's the best way for me to accomplish this if this is like my version of success? And my answer to that is making YouTube videos. Sure, I can still stream, post memes or make shorts or do art, dabble in live 2D, do stuff in VR chat, sure. But overall, I wanna be a virtual YouTuber. I want to be the literal definition of what a VTuber means back in the old days of Kizuna Ai, and success to me is being able to upload a video here every day and to talk to someone like you. Yes, this is what I want to do. Yes, this is my watermelon. So everything else I have been told about what it means to be a VTuber, all these rules and speculations on what is and isn't allowed, none of that actually matters in the end because everyone has their own watermelon that they're trying to create. And someone else's watermelon is going to look different than mine. But here's the thing, they're both still watermelons. If you're like me and you're still struggling to find your watermelon, then I wanna ask you this. What makes you feel really inspired and motivated to do something? And what is that something that you wanna do? For me, it's making YouTube videos and talking to people. Talking to people does dream me a lot, which is why I can't do it as much as I would like to, but making YouTube videos is something that I could do all day until the end of time if I didn't have responsibilities, you know, working at the cafe, taking care of Mochi and Hopper, you know, bills, I, I don't know. Why do, honestly, why do anime girls have to pay bills? It's so stupid. But whatever it is that you enjoy doing for a very long time is what you should be focusing on because that is your watermelon. And guess what? If you wanna be a successful VTuber, then you can combine that passion of yours of VTubing and we've seen a a lot of examples of people doing stuff like this already. We have the luxury of creating unique content by being virtual, but just because we're virtual doesn't mean that we're limited by the possibilities of the different content creation that we can pursue. Man, who would have thought that something as silly as playing a game like this would make me think so deeply about VTubing today and what it means to be like a virtual content creator. Also for real, can we just talk about how hard this stupid children's game is? Like I wasted so many hours playing this today and I still could not get a watermelon for the life of me. But it was a lot of fun because I kind of needed to take a break to do something fun for once in my life instead of just constantly working and stressing about if I'm going to do this or that or whatever it is that I'm worried about for the day. So what kind of path are you taking to achieve your goal and create your big watermelon? Let me know in the comments down below because it doesn't have to necessarily be about VTubing. You could just, you know, post your highest score if you played this game before and it's obviously going to be better than mine. I just focus on VTubing because it is the path that I chose and just so you know, it took me forever to get this watermelon finally also i wanted to apologize for how late i'm uploading this video today i had a very long day and i honestly just didn't feel like working on anything for a while so i wanted to take a break and just play i don't know the watermelon game and it's a good thing i did because that's what sparked this whole conversation for today otherwise i wasn't sure how i was gonna upload a video do you prefer if i upload videos around this time or do you like the when i posted a lot earlier let me know and with that being said thank you so much for listening to my silly little tangent for today and remember everything reminds you of something Something. Bye. Oh, 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 that's a big one. That's about. Oh, why is this game so addicting?